Hello and welcome to Only Connect, where you take the high road and I'll take the low road, because I've heard there's planned maintenance on the high road. But who will get where or for whom in tonight's Only Connect, which is the last of the opening heats in this half of the draw, so the last chance for these teams to make it through to round two, or win a place in our highest scoring runners-up matches, which have been introduced this year to my befuddlement. In contention this evening are, on my right, Thaisa Charki, a classics graduate who enjoys cooking historical recipes and has presented a symposium paper on venison pasties. Niall Sheiky, a librarian and retired Irish dancer who is on a quest to visit every Anglican cathedral in England before his 30th birthday. And their captain, Michael Jelly, a maths graduate and Leicester City supporter whose great-great-uncle was responsible for drawing the Fox's Glacier Mint Polar Bear. United by their devotion to the Dutch sport of corfball, they are the corfballers. Michael, you're not the first jelly to appear on this show, I think. No, uh, my brother was one of the technologists in Series 5, um, and they won the wall game, so I've got quite a lot to live up to. Do you have a competitive relationship? If you finish with no points, will he be kind or laugh? Uh, no, he will be brutal, and rightly so. Well, I hope there'll be no opportunity for him to be brutal. <laughs> you are facing tonight, on my left, Sean McManus a semi-retired teacher who likes his allotment and once took the eggheads on a tour of Guernsey. Caroline McManus, a maths and French graduate who has seven grandchildren and once bumped into Barry Manilow on the South Bank. And their captain, Tabitha Osborne, a junior doctor who is a member of the National Trust and as an infant was the cover star of the Baby Boots catalogue. United by a love of Guernsey, they are the Channel Islanders. Now, you're not just Channel Islanders, you're also a family team, I think. How does that work? That's right. Uh, Caroline is my mum and Sean is her husband, so my stepfather. Two families, in fact, could be torn apart this evening if the scores go wrong. <laughs> the stakes are high. Good luck, everyone. Corf ballers, you won the toss, but you've decided to put your opponents in first. Very tactical. So, Channel Islanders, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between four apparently random clues? If you can tell me the answer after seeing fewer than four, you'll get more points. Here's the first. Next, please. Are they sports with... Um, they change from one to sport to change another. discipline. They change from one sport to another. They did not all change from one sport to another. That does not apply to all the clues. So I'm going to throw it over to the corf ballers for a possible bonus point. Um, were they the first openly gay members of each uh, sport? Well, that is a moot point because openly gay and gay in the press, who knows? But they are certainly all sportsmen who have come out which is an oddly rare thing. There are suspiciously few gay sports people to the naked eye, and uh, there must be more, but these brave people have all made that public. So, well done, you get the bonus point. Which question would you like? I'm under duress to say two reads. Two reads, OK. Let's see if you have anyone to blame or praise after this. <laughs> First clue coming up now. Next, please. Next, please. Oh, oh, Art Alex. College? Oh, a prison, isn't it? Yeah. A I don't prison. know. There is Slavers. a prison called Mountain, but Slaves Porridge, isn't it? Slavers I think Porridge. that's where we have to go. Yeah, yeah. Got one. Oh, one. Next, please. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we think they're fictional prisons. You think rightly. You could have come in after three okay. clues. They are fictional prisons. Yeah. What are the fictions? Um, I know the last one is obviously Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. uh, Slade was Porridge. That's right. Um, I'm not sure of the other no two. No idea about the other two. It's Cold two. Mountain from Cold Mountain. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> it's in the film The Green Mile, the Cold oh. Mountain Correctional oh, okay. Facility. And that Litchfield is in Orange is the New Black. Oh, right. Okay. Well done. All fictional prisons. Channel Islanders, back to you for a choice. 
Uh, lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. on the new £20 note? They do not all appear on the new £20 note, so Corf Ballers, you have another bonus chance. Yeah, it's um, ways of making documents secure or stamps. Security devices. <laughs> In a way, techniques. yes, but that's not specific enough for a right. bonus point. If it were your question, I might have asked you to tell me more. It is very specifically things that feature on the new UK passport. Oh. I mean, it would be lovely if, if banknotes did contain an image of the holder. Yeah. The Queen on one side and your, your own self on the other. Would be, <laughs> might be a bit expensive to produce, is the only thing. But yes, uh, the perforated number, three-dimensional watermarks, that image of Ada Lovelace and uh, the sculptor Anish Kapoor, that sort of drawing on one of the pages to make it harder to copy. So no bonus corf ballers, but you may choose a question. I'd like the twisted flax, please. Then you may have the twisted flax, and it'll be a musical question. Okay. You'll be hearing your clues, what connects them. Here's the first. This is England on a winter's afternoon. There is no sun. Next, please. Don't stop the music. Next, please. Okay, don't stop the music. Not stop. Don't stop. Well, I have to. You've pressed the buzzer, oh. so... That is indeed the answer to the question. Very well done. You didn't need to hear the last clue. Don't Stop Moving by S Club 7, oh, we would have heard. Shame. What, uh, what did we hear? We heard Rihanna, Don't Stop the Music, mm -hmm. um, Michael Jackson, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, mm -hmm. and this something I didn't recognise. The Alan Price set, Don't Stop the Carnival. Oh. Don't Stop applied to the titles of all those pieces of music. Very well done. Channel Islanders, what would you like? Uh, water, please. OK, the water question. These are going to be picture clues. Something connects them. What is it? Here's the first. Next, please. Next. Oh, that's, um... Next. That's, um... I'm sorry, I'm not clear, isn't it? Yes. Pardon? It's the double R for Jenkins. OK, is it Jenkins here? Um, next, please. Was that Carrie? Three seconds. Um, Carrie, I don't know. Not the connection, I'm afraid. So, Corf Ballers, another bonus um, chance. We were looking at Samantha from I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue, who uh, is very beautiful, mm -hmm. but but not physically, because I think she's only pretend. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, there was interference on the line. In that image of Samantha, she's not there. She's obviously perhaps just popped out for an ice cream and was busy licking the nuts off a large Neapolitan, something like that. Not available when the picture was taken, but that is the chair of Samantha. And, and I'm, that's uh, Carrie, sorry, you think, a clue. possibly Carrie. splattered in blood. Mm -hmm. So Carrie and Samantha... Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. It's too late now, but you can tell me if you like. <laughs> okay. Carrie and Samantha. The second image is Charlotte, Carolina. North Carolina, and the first one, illustrations from The Tempest, that is Miranda, the daughter of Prospero. Miranda, Charlotte, Samantha, Carrie. Characters from Sex and the City. Saw it too late. I'm, ashamed. I'm quite glad I didn't get that. <laughs> well, you have got another chance to score some points this round with the final question, the horned viper. Mm. Excellent. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. The line of She's also a character song. Oh, is that the point? That seems a little bit. Tom Jones. Why, why, why? <laughs> Maybe Tom Jones. Let's have another one. one yeah. Next, please. Rebecca. <sighs> they were. Oh, the eponymous heroines of something. <sighs> and the Rebecca the book. And the calls Rebecca Dent for all other men. Yeah, and Rebecca is. Yeah, it's good. One more. Uh, next, please. Oh, Lord. 
three seconds. Is it something about pretending to be dead? Tell me something else. Not to be dead. Pretend... Uh, no, please. And making someone who is dead appear alive. That is not the answer, I'm afraid. So Channel Islanders, your last chance for points this round. You can have a bonus if you tell me the connection. So the eponymous character is dead. The title character is dead. In Weekend at Bernie's, there is a corpse that they pretend is alive. In the others, Rebecca, that's the Daphne du Maurier novel, she's just dead, you never see her. Delilah, the Tom Jones song, it's about how he killed his lover. Annabelle Lee is a, an Edgar Allan Poe a poem about someone who's been buried. At the end of round one, the Channel Islanders have one point, the Corf Ballers have four. <laughs> On to round two, the sequence is round. This time there are still four connected clues, but the fourth one is hidden. The teams have to tell me what it is. Channel Islanders, you'll be going first again. Please choose a hieroglyph. Yeah, whatever. Uh, two reads, please. OK, the first in a series is coming up. What would you expect to come fourth? Time starts now. Next, please. Next, please. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. Uh, Yuan? Is the right answer for two points. And why is that? So they are currencies, and we think they're going geographically towards China. West to East? That's right. West to East towards China. They are the currencies of Thailand, Cambodia, mm. Vietnam, and then the answer would be the currency of China itself. Yuan. Well done. Corf ballers, what would you like? Uh, the lion, please. The lion. What would you expect to come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Quantity of fighters, not number. Quantity of fighters, five. Quantity of fighters is what I know. Oh, um, one, two, three. So it's going to be some like war, one war, some boxing. Isn't it going to be about luxury? Oh, next, please. Next, please. Three seconds. Okay, I, I have an idea. <laughs> say, it, uh, say it. So, fall of a fighter two, <laughs> colon two. Why would that be? I am guessing quite wildly that these are boxing terms, and the first one has five I letters, see. four letters, three letters. No, that's very clever, and I'm marking it down mentally as a possible future question, but no, uh, there are no terms with that again. number of letters that would apply. Okay. Channel Islanders, would you like a bonus point? Well, I expect you would, but can you have no, one? We'd like to try for I think it's from Fight Club, from the film and the book Fight Club by Palomniuk, and I think it's that everybody must fight on the first occasion. Unlucky, because you are absolutely right about the sequence, but not what comes uh, forth, uh, which would be secrecy two. Yes, it's yes. not oh. the quantity of fights five in the sense there are five no, no, fights. No, it's the right. rule number. Yes. Yeah. So rule five of Fight Club, there must be only one fight that's at right. once. Rule four, there must be no more than two fighters. Rule three, the fight will stop if somebody shouts yeah. stop or they pass out. And rule two, you do not talk about Fight Club. About and rule one, that. you do not talk about Fight Club. So well done for spotting the connection there, Sean, but not the answer, I'm afraid. <laughs> Nevertheless, you may have your own question. Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. These are picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next, please. That's John Hannah. Let's go next, please. Gordon. Gordon, anybody? Gordon Brown. Would be an acceptable answer. We've actually got his furry friend Gordon the Gopher. <laughs> but Gordon Brown is equally acceptable. Why? So uh, the names are progressing. So Elton John, John Hannah, Hannah Gordon, Gordon the Gopher. Or That's Gordon. exactly right. It's just overlapping names. Well spotted. Back to you, Corf Ballers, for a question. Um, I'm going to go rogue and say hi, Eye of Horus again, please. Bounce on a limb there with the yeah. Eye of Horus. And let's see if you live to regret it. First in a sequence coming up. What's fourth? The time starts now. Next, please. Kings. 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 Kings.
Do you think we say king is dead? Next, please. Oh, hey, oh. So Robert's is the Bob Dylan. I, yeah, so Dylan would have came to but Elvis wasn't. He was the name came Elvis. Three seconds. Jones with the line through it. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So your chance for a bonus, Islanders. Mm. Just try Dylan. Uh, Dylan, not crossed out. It, you're thinking about the same sort of thing, aren't yeah. you? People having changed their names, but no. Now this is something you'll know or you won't. It's one of those because it's a song. It's the John Lennon song "God," and it's the things he doesn't mm. believe in. Oh, yeah. I don't believe in kings. I don't believe in Elvis. I don't believe in Zimmerman. I don't believe in the Beatles. That's what would come there. So no bonus point for you, Channel Islanders, but you may choose a question. Water, please. Water. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Next. Over. Um, so it's either... Is the right answer. Well done. And why is that? So they're pet names or uh, nicknames of sequential monarchs. That's absolutely right. They are the family names of George V, Edward VIII, George VI and Queen Elizabeth II, as they were known at home. That leaves one question, the Horned Viper. That will go to you, Corf Ballers. What comes forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. That's very high. Bolivia. La Paz is very high. Yeah. Uh, uh, Buenos Aires is quite. Next, quite please. Buenos Aires is huge. It's five. No, it's not a capital. I guess we could take like millions of population. Yeah. Um. Oh, heck. Oh, oh so it could be. Uh, 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 something to do with something number six. There's having the number of airports. It could be. Well, La Paz is tiny. Though. Three seconds. Uh, Shanghai six. I'm afraid that does not work in our sequence. So Channel Islanders, last chance for bonus point. Uh, we're going to try New Orleans and six. That would be an acceptable answer. We've actually got the Galapagos Islands and six, but New Orleans would work. And why? We, yep, yeah, We think it's um, hours uh, behind London time. That's right, it's time difference We're from the UK, west. from yeah. uh, Greenwich Mean Time, and it's just the sequence is just numbers actually. Three hours difference in Buenos Aires, yeah. four in La Paz, five New York, and somewhere that was six hours time difference from the UK and New Orleans, that would apply. So well done. That means at the end of round two, the Corf Ballers have four points, the Channel Islanders have eight. <laughs> On now to the horrors of the connecting wall, and you'll be going first this time, Corf Ballers. You've got the choice, lion or water. We'll have a water wall, please, Victoria. Right? The water wall. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. OK. Colleges. Should we be the little or Scottish monarchs? Regent's Corpus Park. Yeah, 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 loads and loads. loads. Uh, uh, yeah, there's uh, quite a lot. Regent's and... Park as well. The cities in Texas. Houston, Austin, Austin, Dallas, Austin. Amarillo. Houston. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, there's there's been another one. Uh, Corpus Christi. Christi. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. That's great. Okay. 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 Okay
agent. Say agent. No, agent something. Oh, that let's try that. One more go. Okay, so leave out. Ma uh, maybe, maybe leave out Ash. Leave, leave out Ash. Yeah, happy. Yeah. yeah, try it. It's a bit of a guess. That's <laughs> it. You've sold the wall. Very well done. And what about the points for the connections? The first group. Houston or Houston, Amarillo, Austin, Corpus Christi. Uh, all places in Texas. They are towns in Texas. And the second green group starting Exeter. They are all Oxford colleges. They are colleges of Oxford University. And the third group, bike, lion, range, standard time. We think that those can all be preceded by mountain. They can. And yes, a time zone between the Pacific and Central, the mountain standard time, that is. Uh, Somewhere around the Rocky Mountains. Mountains. They can all follow mountain. And the last turquoise group starting Ash. Characters in Alien. They are all characters in Alien. Excellent. So you found all the groups and you got all the connections. So I can give you the maximum of 10 points. Thank you very much. The Lion Wall remains. We will be giving that to the Channel Islanders. Very similar principle. Can they sort it out into four connected groups of four? You have two and a half minutes, Channel Islanders, to solve the line wall, starting now. So, okay, so what's the others then? Blend, oh, blood. So there are oranges. I've done that one, haven't I? So you keep looking while I do this. Sword of Damascus, Cadiz, 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 Spanish ports, Cadiz, okay. Santa Antonia, yeah. Barcelona. Yeah. This oh, is this really good. Good. Expert in this, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Three strikes so, and you're out now, plenty of time. Valencia. So what, Toaster, Jaffa, Lions, 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 Lions Main, Lions Den. Sword, oh, Expert two, I know nothing about. Sounds Dunk. like it should be a game or something. Don't heat. Is it a Damascus cake? Mm, no, Jeff. I don't know that. Don't. Orange. 1977 is the Golden Jubilee year. It's when uh, Virginia Wade won. Toaster. Uh, what can Toaster be? Damascus. Road to. Road to Damascus. Road to. Road to Toaster. Lion's Den. It's apostrophe, yes. It's got yeah, it's something. Lion's something. It's Lion's Main. Lion's. Is, this, is there a brand lion something? No. Lion's kids. Oh, That's with a wire. Yeah. Um, so X Pro X2. Two. I think that must be some kind of computer. Surely that's got to go with that somehow. I think maybe these are places in one, two, three are all places. You want me to take those? But what else can you put them with? I think that have to give that be some kind of computer. Try and just go for something, okay? To see what we can get if we can get from the connection. Try it because we've only got 30 seconds no, to go. To... Well, let's go for your one then. I'll and put then something else. I don't know what do you think. <coughs> <coughs> uh, oh dear, this is not good, is it? Can't see. Dunky. 10 seconds, yeah, but done. that's okay. it. That was your third strike, and the wall has frozen. Can you tell me the connections in that first blue group? So they're all types of orange. Simply types of orange, that's right. And the green group, Cadiz, Santander, Alicante, Barcelona. All Spanish ports. All Spanish ports. And you can get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. That's how it should have been. Lions, Damascus, Dung, Jaffa. Um, cake. Cake, did you say? Mm. Cake. I was just checking you didn't say gate, which is, I'm afraid, the answer. They are oh. not cakes. They are so gates in the wall of Jerusalem. Oh, Jerusalem wall gates. And the last group, 1977, Toaster, Valencia, we X Pro 2. No, no. it. Early computers. I mean, let me tell you, if I hadn't looked at the answer, I could stand with your team for 47 years and not get this. <laughs> they are filters on Instagram, so oh, I don't blame you for not getting that. Shame. But you do get four points for the groups and connections you found. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Channel Islanders have 12 points, the Corf Ballers have 14. So tonight's game will be decided in round four, the missing vowels round. But remember, this is the final heat in this half of the draw. There are 12 more teams to come, but tonight we will decide not just who goes through to round two, but who is the highest scoring second place finisher. We've got that to play for as well. 
So, Buzz with Care teams, fingers on the buzzers, please. I can tell you that the first group are all fictional nobility. Corfballers. Count Dracula. Correct. Corfballers. Viscount Greystoke. Correct. Corfballers. The Count of Monte Cristo. Correct. Corfballers. Baron Greenback. Good round. Next category, words that rhyme with clues. Islanders. Cruise. Correct. Corfballers. News. Correct. Islanders. Zoo. Zoo. That just doesn't rhyme with clues. I'm afraid I can't take it. Corfballers. Ooze. Ooze is the word. Next clue. Corfballers. Cockadoodle doos. Correct. Next category, things where more is worse. Islanders. Strikes in baseball. Correct. Corfballers. Handicap in golf. Correct. Corfballers. Points on a driving licence. Correct. Corfballers. Complaints to Ofcom. I'll say. Next category, types of insurance. Corfballers. Health. Correct. Islanders. Too late to give me the answer, which would be public liability, because the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. And I can tell you that after a very impressive round four, the winners and through to round two with 25 points are the Corfballers. Finishing in second place with a creditable 13 points, the Channel Islanders. Now, Channel Islanders, this is the last of our heats, and I can tell you that with 13 points, you are equal in score with our previous highest scoring second place finishers. So I'm now going to look at the combined round one and two scores. I can tell you that the other people scored in rounds one and two a combined total of four. You scored eight. You're still in the competition <laughs> by virtue of those early rounds. Very well done. Thank you. Not through to round two, of course. You must play another game to get there, but you still have a chance. Utterly baffling. You thought the questions were difficult. Just try getting your head around the structure. <laughs> Still, if you can face it, join me again next week for another episode of the show that produces more head-scratching than Mongolian supernits. And I should know. Goodbye. <laughs>
Do you have a competitive relationship? If you finish with no points, will he be kind or laugh? Uh, no, he will be brutal, and rightly so. Well, I hope there'll be no opportunity for him to be brutal. <laughs> you are facing tonight on my left, Sean McManus, a semi-retired teacher who likes his allotment and once took the eggheads on a tour of Guernsey. Caroline McManus, a maths and French graduate who has seven grandchildren and once bumped into Barry Manilow on the South Bank. And their captain, Tabitha Osborne, a junior doctor who is a member of the National Trust and as an infant was the cover star of the Baby Boots catalogue. United by a love of Guernsey, they are the Channel Islanders. Now, you're not just Channel Islanders, you're also a family team, I think. How does that work? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Caroline is my mum and Sean is her husband, so my stepfather. Two families, in fact, could be torn apart this evening if the scores go wrong. <laughs> the stakes are high. Good luck, everyone. Corf ballers, you won the toss, but you've decided to put your opponents in first. Very tactical. So, Channel Islanders, please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between four apparently random clues? If you can tell me the answer after seeing fewer than four, you'll get more points. Here's the first. <laughs> Uh, next, please. Three seconds. Who's the first to change discipline? Uh, the first. Um, they change from one to sport to change another. discipline. They change from one sport to another. They did not all change from one sport to another. That does not apply to all the clues. So I'm going to throw it over to the Corf ballers for a possible bonus point. Um, were they the first openly gay members of each uh, sport? Well. That is a moot point, because openly gay and gay in the press, who knows, but they are certainly all sportsmen who have come out, which is an oddly rare thing. There are suspiciously few gay sports people to the naked eye, and uh, there must be more, but these brave people have all made that public. So, well done, you get the bonus point. Which question would you like? I've under duress to say two reads. Two reads, OK. Let's see if you have anyone to blame or praise after this. <laughs> First clue coming up now. Next, please. Cathedral, 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 you think rightly you could have come in after three okay. clues. They are fictional prisons. Yeah. What are the fictions? Um, I know the last one is obviously Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. uh, Slade was Porridge. That's right. Um, I'm not sure of the other no two. No idea about the other it's two. It's Cold Mountain from Cold Mountain. Uh, you, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the film The Green Mile, the Cold oh. Mountain Correctional oh. Facility. Okay. And that Litchfield is in Orange is the New Black. Oh, right. Okay. Well done. All fictional prisons. Channel Islanders, back to you for a choice. Uh, lion, please. Lion. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Must be security. Security. Is it what we've done? We've done a bad one. Is security? Next, please. Got peers on the knee. Uh, next, please. Three seconds. They appear on the new £20 note. They do not all appear on the new £20 note, so Corf Ballers, you have another bonus chance. Yeah, it's um, ways of making documents secure or stamps. Security devices. <laughs> In a way, techniques. yes, but that's not specific enough for a right. bonus point. If it were your question, I might have asked you to tell me more. It is very specifically things that feature on the new UK passport. Oh. 
I mean, I must say, it'd be lovely if, if banknotes did contain an image of the holder. Yeah. The Queen on one side and your, your own self on the other. <laughs> would be, <laughs> might be a bit expensive to produce, is the only thing. But, yes, uh, the perforated number, three-dimensional watermarks, that image of Ada Lovelace and uh, the sculptor Anish Kapoor, that sort of drawing on one of the pages to make it harder to copy. So, no bonus corf ballers, but you may choose a question. I'd like the twisted flax, please. Then you may have the twisted flax, and it'll be a musical question. Okay. You'll be hearing your clues. What connects them? Here's the first. This is England on a winter's afternoon. There is no sun. Next, please. Next, please. Don't stop. Well, I have to. You've pressed the buzzer, oh. so... That is indeed the answer to the question. Very well done. You didn't need to hear the last clue. Don't Stop Moving by S Club 7, oh, we would have heard. shame. What, uh, what did we hear? We heard Rihanna, Don't Stop the Music. Mm -hmm. um, Michael Jackson, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Mm -hmm. And Don't something I didn't recognise. The Alan Price set, Don't Stop the Carnival. Oh. Yeah. Don't Stop applied to the titles of all those pieces of music. Very well done. Channel Islanders, what would you like? Uh, water, please. OK, the water question. These are going to be picture clues. Something connects them. What is it? Here's the first. Next, please. Next. Oh, that's... Um, uh, that's... Um, I'm sorry, I'm not clear, isn't it? It's the top of the line for Jenkins. OK. Is it Jenkins here? No. Um, next, please. Was it Jen was not for Jenkins? It wouldn't turn up. Three. Um, Three seconds. seconds. Jenkins. Um, Carrie, I don't know. 